Welcome back everybody. Spring break is ending. Wow, I hope you enjoyed yourself. The weather was a little bit warmer. We didn't have to turn our computers on for an entire week. No meetings, no teams, no trying to attach stuff. But now's the downhill slide. April's half over, then there's May. School's almost over. But before school's over, we gotta make sure that we learn Sokotoa. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, over spring break, you remember what your assignment was? Do a little YouTube, Google some stuff, come up with a mnemonic, a rhyme, a riddle, a song, a rap about Sokotoa. What's your sign? But before we do that, it's time for shout outs. Do we remember who did all the work before spring break? Let's get started. Math the Achievers. Oh my gosh, look at all the red stars for the people that went over and above the expectations on Mathia. Alexis Brandt, Caitlin Blankenagel, Clay Contois, Colin McBride, Quinn Moses, Reliance Morgan, Jackson Knoll, Kristen Barnett, Spencer Deerdorf, Maya Eckel, Carter Harris, Hannah Lee, Arthur Lucan, Serenity Sebasta. <laughs> And Red Stars, those people that did more than one session, did more than one workspace, did like 10 problems. Caitlin Blankenagel, Clay Contois, Quinn Moses, Jackson Knoll, Maya Eckel, and Carter Harris. Special thanks to them. All right, now we're going to move on. And we have our classroom participation. Each week, it seems like more and more people are getting involved in Mr. Miller's conversations. And the next couple of weeks, when we talk about trigonometry, it can be confusing. This idea of relationships within a triangle. So we need you to participate with those conversations. And we want to shout out to Isabel Bennett, Caitlin Blankenagel, Courtney Brown, Clay Contois, Abby Crimps, Claire Darlin, Colin McBride, Ashlyn Miltenberger, Valen Magala, Quinn Moses and Jackson Knoll, Maya Eckel, Alyssa Granados, Arthur Lucan, Devin Martin, Matt McConnell, Carlene Nolan, Jackson Rose Perkins, Darius Waldo, and Teddy Weston. Thank you for all those people and their extra work to try to make these conversations bring the math to life. Now, remember, when we start each new month, we've got to do our birthdays. Our birthdays for this month are going to be late in the month, but still they're April birthdays. Claire Darlin, April 24th. Colin McBride, April 28th. Arthur Lucan, April 29th. Maya Eckel, April 30th. And Ash Quintana, April 30th. Happy birthday to you. And have a great month. All right, so that completed our shout out. Now, the math. We're going to be wrapping up this cheat sheet, okay? Yeah, the month of April, we wrap up this cheat sheet so that we can get ready for something new and different. Well, right in the middle of the page is a thing called Sokatoa, okay? So, in math we're trying to describe the world mathematically and we divide it up into these triangles okay so we take certain types of motion and we break it up into pieces and part of that is called the sine curve the cosine curve and the tangent curve all the time we're trying to describe this dance this relationship in a triangle. And I call it a dance because as this angle gets bigger, this side gets bigger. But the 90 stayed the same. So if this got bigger, the 90 stayed the same, 
then this one got smaller and this got smaller. These relationships kind of create a dance, all right? And step one in learning about that dance was special right triangles. Step two will be this thing called Sokatoa, the sign of an angle. This relationship based on the reference angle is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Okay? The cosine of an angle, again using A as the reference, is the adjacent. And in mathematics, adjacent means next to. I am next to the megaphone. Next to. So next to angle A is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Ka. Ka. And then the tangent, we love the tangent because that's how we do real world math, okay? The distance from me to the wall, the wall to the ceiling, this diagonal. We wanna know the length of the diagonal. How do we do that? The Pythagorean theorem, but we can also use what's called the tangent of the angle, okay? Because we know the angle. We have tools that help us measure that, all right? So this whole week is about the reference angle and the OPP and the HYP and the ADJ, SOKATOA. Now, before spring break, we asked who can create some sort of a rhyme, some sort of a riddle, some sort of a song, some sort of a mnemonic to remember, okay? When I was your age, we came up with and you knew it was sine, cosine, tangent, just like your calculator shows. Mine was Oscar has a heap of apples. That's how I remembered it. I still remember it to this day. Oscar has a heap of apples, okay? So, op, hypot, the OPP over the HYP, Oscar has. The cosine of an angle, a heap, the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tangent is the OPP over the ADJ, the opposite over the adjacent. So all week, turn around, look at that big green triangle on the back wall. Let's get this vocabulary in our heads so that in another week, we can be doing some real world math problems. Okay, have a great week. See you in class or visit me virtually. Take care. Thank you.